please welcome on stage Dr. Peter Kress. Big hand of applause to you, Peter. Thank you, Sue. The SWAT team is coming up here on stage. You will kind of unveil the secrets about that exactly, later. Exactly, exactly, yeah. But before I start, Christine, I have a question for you. Are you using artificial intelligence already? No. Artificial intelligence definitely is something what you can find here. We have a presentation over there, Future of Automation. Are you it's sure? It's some rocket science stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hey, private life. I'm a moderator. Are you doing online shopping? Well, now you caught me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black so you know, Friday. Hey, what do uh, you think? So well, you I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> so, for example, the recommendations that you get at, at Amazon or any, anywhere else. Yeah, so this what is do a you very, think? that's a very nasty thing to say <laughs> because you get this recommendation. Oh, this might be interesting for you. That color might match you and this and that. And yeah. then they really get me into buying. Yeah. And those recommendations, they are all enabled by artificial intelligence and data analytics technologies. So, I do yeah. use the super technology you do? already you do and i think wow. it makes our life easier yeah. well, it, um, well my bank account does not really see the advantages of this yeah. <laughs> but i think i'll leave you on your own okay. now up here on the stage yeah. i go online shopping okay thanks because the question is how can we also use the power of data analytics and artificial intelligence also in the industry not only in the consumer space and um Uh, this is what I want to talk about. It makes our life easier. And now the question is, how can we also increase your productivity in your operations? When you think about digitalization, look here around. Um, it's everywhere. And we know that digitalization has tremendous opportunities for us in the industry. But thinking of digitalization, we also have a lot of question marks in our head. And the key question is that we all have Where do we start? And for us at Siemens, there is a very simple answer. It starts with you. It starts with our customers. Um, depending on your business priorities, be it that you want to increase the speed of your uh, processes, the flexibility of your processes, the quality of your products, or in general, the efficiency of your operations, we are your partner to master the digital transformation together. And it all starts for us with understanding. So we take our time to understand your challenges, your pain points, and we also share our experience, our expertise from our projects also within our Siemens own, in our Siemens internal factories. Based on that, we do a meaningful plan together. So we look, what are your business priorities? We make a roadmap together, and then we take the projects um, and, and, and conduct them uh, together. And of course, we are also your partner for doing the implementation and also the operations uh, over the life cycle together. So let's have a closer look on how we can increase the efficiency of your processes and also the quality of your products by the application of data analytics and how we can increase the productivity of your operations by using those technologies. Um, what we see in the industry is that due to a very fierce competition, due to reduced product life cycles, increasing customer demands and new competitors from other spaces, we see that the pressure to um, increase the productivity in the manufacturing industry is very, very high. But we also see that conventional productivity increase levers as lean management, Six Sigma, that they have been fully exploited over the years and that productivity has gained a certain plateau. So now the question is, how can we increase your OEE, your overall equipment effectiveness by the application of data analytics And especially, how can we uncover, how can we unlock the hidden potentials in your productivity? And what are the key steps for that? Let's have a look. For us, as I said, it starts with understanding. And that means for us, we need a use case. So in our co-creation workshops, interdisciplinary teams on your side, but also on our side, we distill, we identify the use case that is, um, yeah, most important for you and we jointly define that use case 
And we do that with a very sharp problem description. So from that problem description, we identify the use cases that are uh, the, the, the data sources that are required. We look what data is available, what data do we need to tackle that use case, and we also do the connection to those data sources, be it on the physical assets or on the shop floor, but also in enterprise IT systems, ERP systems, and also sometimes data from weather stations and, and other data. Building on that, the modeling starts, so we create an algorithm with our experts, with our data scientists that can solve this problem that we've identified in the use case. And last but not least, very important, we are also there for doing the implementation and the operation. So we bring the algorithm, the model, um, into action, and we also keep it updated over the life cycle. So now you might ask yourself, what's the benefit out of that? So sounds good, artificial intelligence, very interesting. But what's really the benefit out of that? And I can tell you, it's not, we're not talking about incremental changes. So with this new technology, we can really ensure a quantum leap. We can ensure the next level on the productivity curve. And we think, and we're talking about productivity increase of up to 30%. So that's really, uh, that's really a lot, yeah. Um, and to show that, let's have a closer look in one of our projects. Um, in the manufacturing industry, what we see here is um, in the manufacturing industry, a big chunk of the costs occur for the testing. And also the testing step in the manufacturing industry, so in the electronics production, is the bottleneck in the, in, in the entire process. So the question is, how can we increase the productivity by application of data analytics and artificial intelligence? And in this case, we ensured to, to decrease the test effort that is required uh, along the process by up to 30%. Um, so we see in, in a very, let's say, in a fully optimized, fully automated uh, production line, we could ensure with this new uh, technology, uh, yeah, 30%. We have a self-optimizing algorithm that um, will in increase the, let's say, the, the productivity over time, and that is also all catered and also shown to the operators in the at the production line with very intuitive dashboards. Yeah. So now the question for me is. How can we also increase or boost the productivity of your operations by up to 30%? I'm happy to discuss with you your pain points, your challenges. Let's come up with a joint use case. You can find my team. You can find us over there at the consulting and services station. Um, I'm looking forward to the discussions. So join me there in a moment. Thank you. <laughs>